out in the second period. Well, sitting up here, it's easy to be a coach and tell the Oilers what they have to do, but let's give a lot of credit to the Montreal Canadiens and Coach Jacques Lemaire. They have played a well-disciplined, well-thought-of game plan, and if they're successful in doing it in the third period, they will come out with something as an altercation takes place at the Montreal Canadiens bench. And I believe that Semenko is involved in there, and I think that they're after somebody who slashed Messier. Anyway, all the players are down there. Gretzky was over talking to referee Bill McCreary. And perhaps the Oilers are just trying to rile the Montreal Canadiens just a little bit. They've only been riled one time and they had a goal scored against them. And maybe that will change the complexion as to the way things Montreal will play. There's Ganey right there being pushed by Anderson. Now John Jackson is in it. I did not see the Montreal player, Deblois, who had come to the aid of Ganey. I'm sure Ganey will, and Anderson will just hang. Now everybody's going to grab everybody and it's going to be Wednesday night at the boxing matches. This is not a good scene after what has been a relatively clean hockey game with only three minor penalties. Kevin and Island is the big boat over here just near the end zone. You should see the two ushers just leap off the ice. That'll be the main event right there. Two big, strong guys. Nyland, 263 minutes on the season, and he's had 15 majors. He is a left-hander, so something that Kevin will have to watch out for at this point, the linesmen are in the melee. I'm kind of interested in this one myself. Yeah, I, well, right now it looks like they're the only two that are ready to go. Devlo on Jackson wrestling, but here we go. Kevin McClellan and Chris Nyland. See, Kevin's got his right hand tied up in the jersey. Nyland's left hand is free, and he's, now he's got it loose. It's out of the jersey. And they will go at it pretty good from now the strength of Kevin. My goodness, I didn't believe he was that powerful. Well, they're broken up by linesman Ryan Bozak. The referee McCreary is taking notes, but so far that's the only fight. But let's keep our eyes on Glenn Anderson and Bob Ganey. Hopefully cooler heads will prevail here. You know the thing that can happen, Bruce, is that those sticks and the gloves around and you step on one of those, you can go down and injure yourself, particularly with sharp skates around. Kevin is holding his hands up a LA Rocky Balboa, indicating that he is one. Chris Nyland is going to take a little bit of the show also, telling him that, look, I haven't got a mark on me. <laughs> In that kind of a hockey game where very little fisticuffs have taken place. Perhaps a little frustration on the part of the Oilers, Bruce. Well, it all resulted near the, right at the end of this period. Is After the goal scored by Edmonton and, and Messi left the ice, so something had to happen that we did not catch. I must uh, confess to you fans tuned into us. 